John Weber. Today I'm going to bring you a short tutorial on how to set up a root password in the metadata for your layer so that when you build images, the images come pre-populated with that root password. This is normally a really good thing, especially when in production, so that your devices that you're shipping are not shipping with a blank root password. Uh, nefarious individuals cannot crack into them and start using them in ways that they were not intended. And the reason why we do this is because generally speaking when you are doing development work you are doing it with this thing called debug tweaks in the image features and that removes the need to actually have a root password there which makes uh, debugging a little bit easier but what we want to be able to do when we actually go into production is we want to actually set a root password and that's how and this is how you do it so in your image recipes what you need to have is you need to have a line here called inherit extra users this brings in the extra users class that provides you with a number of different commands. In this case, we set up a variable called extra users params, and we can do a lot of different things. We can set up new users, we can set up passwords for users, uh, we can set up groups and all sorts of uh, fun stuff. But in this case, we're going to set up a root password here. And in this particular file, we're gonna do this in clear text, or in this case, I'll show you another case here where we're gonna do this encrypted, but in this case, we're going to do this in clear text so you can see that I'm setting this password to tech connection I'm setting it for the root user when we do this we use the dash capital P or the uppercase P to inform the the user mod command that this is a clear text password so it should go through the process of encrypting that before loading that into the etc shadow file in the root file system we are also adding a special user you may want to do this in your device because in some cases you may have applications you want to run but not as root and in that case you could run them as a, as another user you could set up a different user in this case i set up the user scorpion because we have a project named scorpion and that's how you do this use the user add command or the dash p if you wanted to have a password here you could and then there's the user name there so what I've done already here is I'm going to go ahead and load up an image that has this already set. I've already baked this up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and load an image up here. I'm going to go ahead and reboot the board and do this my favorite way right now. And use UMS to do this. Also use uh, Belena Etcher. And this is the one with the clear text password. So I'm going to show this here. Select target, flash. Actually, we're gonna pause here for a few minutes while this thing loads. I'll be back with you here shortly. Okay, so the image has been programmed onto the unit now. We're gonna go ahead and minimize that. Control C out of this and reset. So now the unit is running the new image. Uh, and while it's doing that, let me take you through a couple of things that I failed to mention earlier. So you need to set up these parameters. You need to inherit extra users. But just wanted to let you know that I put this into an include file um, as opposed to loading that into the recipe. So this is effectively doing the same thing as loading it into the recipe because I, I put this in into an include file and then I use the require line here in the image recipe to bring this include file, the contents of this include file into the recipe itself. And when you use the require line, you have to give the complete path to the include file. In this case, the include file resides in this directory here within the metadata. So it resides within recipe scorpion images, scorpion dash users dot ink. Um, so it's just here, meta scorpion recipe scorpion images scorpion uh, dash users dot ink. So just wanted to show you that before we move on. Now getting into here, so the, the board is booted already. This is the console, so you're not going to see, uh, well, you're gonna see in some cases some console messages, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and log in as root, and we need to make sure that the password is set correctly, so I'm just going to type this in, T-E-C-H-N-E-X-I-O-N. And look, that got us in. I just wanna show you the etc shadow file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cat slash etc slash shadow, which is where the, the passwords are located. And you can see here, this is where the password has been loaded. You can see that it's in an encrypted hash form. 
which makes sense. That's the way it should be. The other thing you should see here is you see the Scorpion user, which was added by this user add dash P line here. And there is no password for Scorpion. So let's go and test that real quick. So I exit out of this. So I'll log out and I'll log in as Scorpion. And then, yep. So there is in fact no password for the Scorpion user. Let's go ahead and exit now. The next thing I wanna show you here I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. The next thing I want to show you here is how to encrypt the root password in the metadata. So right here, what we're seeing is that TechNection password is in clear text. This may or may not be a big deal to you if you have a fairly small team or if you know that this file is never going to end up outside of your organization, then this might be fine. In other cases, you may want to actually encrypt that root password. So uh, to do that, you use a little bit of a different method, um, but it's pretty similar. Um, so what I've done here in this file is I've showed the other way of doing it. I'm going to go ahead and comment this out. Very simple. First, you have to make the password and you can use the make password command here. And I give the instructions, but make password and then you have to define the method, which is SHA-512. It's what we use by st standard uh, in Yocto. And then you have to give it your password. Then you need to give it a salt uh, and the string uh, anywhere between eight and 16 characters long. So in this case, we're gonna use make password dash M with the SHA-512. We're gonna use the same password and we're gonna set the salt as in root password. It really doesn't matter as long as it's more than eight characters. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm just gonna show you how this works. And you can see that the resulting string here out of the make password command is this string. And when you, what you do is you take this string here and you can copy that. And then you can paste that into uh, these extra users params. But when you do so, it needs to be pasted into uh, and surrounded by single quotes like I've done here. And then any dollar signs need to be escaped uh, because those could be interpreted down the line even before uh, running the user mod command. The other thing that you need to pay attention to is that when you're using an encrypted password, you need to provide the user mod with the lowercase p option not the uppercase P option. The uppercase P option means clear password. Lowercase P option means encrypted password. Uh, so we've already done this. I've already created an image here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and load that image up. Uh, again, my favorite way of doing that is just to get into the U-boot prompt. And I'll just run UMS here, C2. And I'll just use UMS to, to reload the board. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash from a file. I have this already in my downloads directory um, with encrypted root password. That's the image, open, select my target, flash. All right, and so we're gonna wait for this to flash and we'll come back here shortly. Stay tuned. Okay, so now we are done flashing the image with the encrypted password or the password that was encrypted as part of the metadata. And so let's go see how that turned out. So I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the board, let it boot all the way, and then we're going to log in and we're going to check out the Etsy slash shadow directory. So login is root. Type my password in, T-E-C-H-N-E-X-I-O-N, and we're in, great. So let's just cat the slash etc slash shadow file and let's check it out. What one of the things that I wanted to just mention here or show you is that what was here, what is here is actually the content. You can see the dollar six dollar root password and then the dollar sign here is exactly the content that we loaded in this file here. It's, the, it's actually exactly the string that was output by the make password command without the escapes that we loaded in here to escape out the dollar sign characters. Uh, just to show you that when we do this, when you use the lowercase p, it assumes, the user mod uh, command here, assumes you're going to essentially copy the complete contents within these single quotes into the Etsy shadow directory right here, a shadow file. I keep on calling it directory, it's the file. <laughs> so here, um, so that's where it is. So just to show you how that works, 
Uh, again, that's uh, how you can set the root password in a couple of different ways. Hopefully you'll find this useful. Stay tuned for more additional tutorials from me and from others at TechNection. I'm John Weber. See you next time.